Okay, so, right. So, first of all, what I'd like you to do then is I'd like you to take some deep breaths in, either through the mouth or through the nose. And you can also look at me if you like. And slowing down the breathing. And as we slow down the breathing, we relax the thinking. And as you take a deep breath in, just imagine that you take, you're breathing in that hypnosis, that peaceful, healing, relaxed, dreamlike state. And you're breathing out any stress or any tension. That's it. And just imagine, just imagine with your powerful imagination that that hypnosis goes through the top of the head, relaxing every muscle in the forehead, relaxing every muscle in the eyes, and relaxing every muscle in the cheeks now. Just allowing that hypnosis to go into the shoulders where people carry a lot of stress, the weight of the world on their shoulders. Just allowing every single muscle in the shoulders to relax. Just letting that hypnosis go from the top of your head into your forehead and into your eyes, just allowing all the muscles in your eyes to relax and into your cheeks and into your shoulders. And just noticing now how your mind is just drifting away and how your body is just relaxing more and more. That's it. And just feeling that hypnosis now going down through the shoulders, down through the arms, and down through the arms, down through the biceps and the triceps to the fingers and just feeling that hypnosis in the hands and in the fingers now. That's it, and you're perfectly safe and you're perfectly fine. And what I'd like you to do now is just take yourself slowly and calmly and safely with the sound of my voice now, just taking yourself 10 times deeper with the sound of my voice, just relaxing into this peaceful, dreamlike, healing hypnosis. And just taking yourself 20 times deeper and 30 times deeper. Just go back to that mystical place, that magical place where we make perfect and positive lifestyle changes today. And at the bottom of those stairs, those 10 steps that we're going to walk down today, they could be inside or they could be outside. We're going to start this mystical, magical journey today at the bottom of those steps or stairs. We're going to go on a mystical, magical journey today of self-love, of knowing how you are good enough. And the first thing that I want you to do is I just want you with this powerful imagination, but I want you to go back to a memory from a long, 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 long time ago when you were a little girl and when you were safe and you were secure and you were full of adventure and everything was exciting and you were enough. And in this moment, in this memory, you were alone. And it didn't matter if people were with you or if people were not with you. You were having such a wonderful time. And you were feeling full of excitement, feeling alive. And just notice the emotions. Notice how happy you are, how excited you are how you don't need anything else to make you any happier in this moment. And as you look at yourself here, I just want you to notice as you look at yourself now, how you are this little girl and this little girl is you. And if this little girl can be enough and doesn't need anything else to be happy, then you also are enough and you don't need anything else to be happy. And just allow yourself now, just give yourself a big hug and just feel yourself in your arms again. And just feel how this little girl who is happy in this moment and is enough for herself in this moment and doesn't need anything else in this moment to be happy. Just give her a big hug and just realize that you are loving yourself in this moment when you give yourself a big hug. Just 
allowing those emotions to go into your body, just allowing those emotions, those emotions to become part of you now. And when you've put that little girl in your heart, just give me a little nod so that I know that you've done that. Okay, thank you. And what I want you to do now, I just want you to come back to the mystical magical room at the bottom of the stairs. Just come back to the mystical magical room just before you went off into that memory. And in that mystical magical room now, you're gonna take this little girl with you and you're gonna go on a ma mystical magical journey with me now. And speaking to Margarita's subconscious now, with your powerful, amazing subconscious now. I want some help from your subconscious now. We want some help from your subconscious now to go on a mystical, magical, self-love healing journey today. And I want you to imagine with your powerful imagination that there's a door. I want you to open that door, open that door with your powerful imagination now. And as you open that door on the other side of that door, there's a path or there's a road or there's a street. And this path or this road or this street or however your imagination can see it now, it goes off in, to the left, it goes straight and it goes right. And the left is the past, the middle is the present and the right is the future. And we're gonna go on a, a special healing self-love journey today. What I want you to do is I just want you to slowly move or walk or imagine that you're just going down now to the left path, to the path that goes to the past. This past memory that you're going to go to now, your subconscious is going to choose this memory from all the hundreds and thousands of memories that you can choose from today. And this memory that you're going to go to in a moment is going to be significant and helpful and useful. And with the help of your sub subconscious, Margarita's subconscious now, going to four, four, just going through that light now. And three, coming out the other side of this light now, you can start to see this memory, this important, significant memory that's going to help you today. And just seeing this memory now, just starting to become clearer and clearer and clearer. And two, just allowing yourself now, you're perfectly safe and you're perfectly fine. Just allowing yourself now to just see this clearer, get this memory getting clearer and clearer. I'm with you and your younger self is with you in your heart now. You're perfectly safe. And just seeing this memory just getting clearer and clearer like an HD movie now. And some people feel their intuition, their guiding light, their soul. Some people feel this in their chest. Some people feel it in their heart. Some people feel it in their stomach. As you look at this memory now, just find your intuition. Feel your intuition now, just getting warmer in your body, maybe in your chest, maybe in your heart, maybe in your stomach. And as you look at this memory now, ask your intuition, ask your subconscious now, Margarita's subconscious now, what is the significance of this memory? What is the message of this memory for you now? Just give me a sign when you know when you can feel the importance of this message now. Thank you very much. And what I want you to do now is just, I want you to just float up, up above, away from this message now. Just go back into this room where there's a path into the present and there's a path into the future. Just allow yourself now to leave those memories and take those messages with you. Take all those messages with you and come back now into the present, sorry, into the room where you've got the path to the present and the path to the future now. And as you go down the path into the present now, I just want you to imagine that there's lots of branches, like branches off a tree. And with that part of your subconscious, with that part of your subconscious that chooses 
to think about these worries, fears, and concerns. Just want you, just for a moment, just for a moment, just want you to make a list, just make a kind of a list of all the different worries and all the different concerns and all the different fears that you have. But just noticing that this part of your subconscious that chooses to think about these worries and these concerns, this part of your subconscious, we're just acknowledging now that this part of your subconscious is actually trying to help you. It's actually trying to keep you safe. And so we thank this part of your subconscious for trying to keep you safe. But we want to make some changes today. I also want you to bring in a different part of your subconscious. I just want you to bring in the part of your subconscious that is your sense of humor. So look at each situation that you're afraid of or worried about or anxious about now. And notice how Everyone else in these situations, everybody else in all of those situations that you're worried about now, that they're not judging you. They're judging themselves. Notice how we are all stressed in our own little worlds of how we're not good enough. And notice how hilarious and how funny it is that you're trying to get love and acceptance from these people in this list. They can't give you what you want because they're all still learning to love themselves. And just look at how silly and how ridiculous this game is that we all play. And what I would like you to do now with that powerful imagination is any people in these memories, these worries, these concerns, any people that make you afraid, just with your imagination, just put your favorite cartoon character's face all over these people that you're afraid of or worried about now. Just notice how it's just silly to be afraid of them now because they're all just in their own little worlds all worried about themselves. Notice how when you look at these people with this cartoon character and this imagination, how you can change the flavor of these events and you can look at these events and these people in your life that are work that scare you or make you afraid and how it doesn't seem so serious anymore. It doesn't seem so dramatic anymore. And just imagine that this little girl, you is in these situations that you're afraid of and she's playing on her own and she's happy on her own. And if people in these situations if the people in these situations, they want to play with you and join in the fun, then that's great. That's a bonus. But if not, then you're perfectly fine in these situations on your own. Because you know, you know that you are good enough. And you are wonderful and you are perfect just the way you are. Now with that part of you that is your creative part the creative part of your subconscious. Just want you to come up with a new way to think about these situations now that makes you happy and makes you ha increases your happiness, your health and your joy. Or to think of a new behavior, a new behavior that helps you better and serves you better now. A healthier job and a happier job when you know that you found a new job for this part, just nod your head so that I know that you've got a new job now. Just using the power of your creativity now, this strong creative subconscious that you've got now. Thank you. Just taking all of this wisdom with you now and just bringing it back with you into the room with the three paths. And let's just go down one more path now. We're gonna go down the future path. And two, just want you to start seeing now, just visualizing, imagining now, this future you in a few weeks or a few months now, if you take all of this knowledge, all of this wisdom that you've gained today and you allow it to become part of you today. 
and you take it with you today and you use it, then just have a look at how you are going to be and how you're going to look and how you're going to feel in just a few days, just a few weeks, just a few months now. And let this future you join you in the heart with this little girl. Allow yourself to put this future you into your heart today. Allow yourself to make this change today. If you're truly ready and you mean it, and you really, really want to make this a reality to, for you today, for the rest of your life, then give me a nod so that I know that you're serious and you're ready to make this the new you today. Okay, thank you. And only when you know that this is finished and done and permanent, your subconscious knows that this is real, then you're allowed to say, the number 10 and then you can open your eyes and you will be able to open your eyes then but first you need to count from one and you're going to feel absolutely incredible What a journey. <laughs> wow. All right. What color is this new year? Just think of a color. Between yellow and green. All right. So now just imagine, just imagine with your powerful imagination that that yellow green is just rising up from the stomach, spreading out from the stomach going down the legs, up through the chest, down through the arms, up through the neck. This new you, this yellow green is rising up through the head, filling up your whole body now. And just feel this new yellow green you just increasing and just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And just allowing this to be the new you now, just increasing, increasing as high as you can turn it, as high as you can turn it now. All right, and just tell me, very quickly, just tell me, what is your telephone number backwards? Just to create a new neural pathway, what's your telephone number backwards? Uh, three, uh, one, two, three. Okay, stop. One, two, three is your telephone number back. You made that up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, uh, it's your sense of humor, subconscious kicking in. All right, so everything that makes your life better is a bonus. Everything that makes your life worse is crap. But the only thing that you need is this new you, is this younger you and this future you, and just make it you. How do you feel right now? Good. 